Hello, good to see you again. This tutorial is the continue of the previous two videos. You will learn. First, load model image use OpenCV and display in view. Second, to apply OpenCV action on the image in model. Third, using slider bar to adjust parameters of line detection and update view. After this video you should get a good idea of model view controller in Python TK Inter and also some basic OpenCV operations. Ok, first is to pass the fire location and load image into original image using OpenCV. We keep the original image as a variable, so we can use it later. As this operation is only to load image so we copy it to current image variable for displaying in view or GUI. Now to use pub module to inform controller to update image. Also we pass the current image as a parameter in the pub send message function. You may notice that we have used a method called to tk image. Because open image has different format to tk inter image. We need to transfer to a format can be displayed in tk inter widget. Create to tk image method, and take open image as argument. First is to flatten the BGR into one dimensional Aries use CV2 split method. And then merge them into RGB format and store back to IMG. Now we have the IMG in write RGB format. So we can use PIL image from array to turn it into TK inter image format and put into image TK variable. And return the image for future use, which can be displayed in TK widget. Let's go back to the event handling of this load image process. We now have a message model updated being sent out from model object for controller to take action on. The method to handle is message is called model change handler. It will be used to handle all situations when model has be changed to refresh the presentation in view class. Create a method called model change handler, will take the tk inter image as data variable. What it does is passing this tk inter image to a method in view called update image to display in GUI. View is an object inside controller, so we can call this view method directly. The controller class manages actions and data flow, but itself does not do any ground work. Now we change to view class to create update image method. Panel A is actually a tk label widget can be used to display pictures. First is to configure this label for image displaying, second line of codes is to pass the image for displaying. Recall this image object is passed from model object through controller. It has been already converted from CV2 to TK inter image format and model class. Now let's do a test of loading and displaying image. Clicking image displays a file pickup dialog. Pick a file and it will be displayed in the window. Let's look at the last missing part of the software. When clicking on the button or change sliding bar. Line detection method in controller will be invoked. In this controller method. It will call the line detection method in model to perform open CV line detection function and change the status of the model. We can direct call the scale bar elements in view to get the numbers. There are four parameters for open cove line detection. They are pixel, threshold, minimum line length and max line gap. Let's have a look at OpenCV documentation. You can find detail explanation of how it works. We are using probabilistic offline transform function here. Pixel is the resolution of the parameter R in pixels. Threshold is the minimum number of intersections to detect a line. Minimum line length and max line gap is self-explanatory. It's time to implement the line detection method in model file. It will take four arguments as discussed previously. Now we need to have a copy of original image. The original image will not change. We use a variable called current image to keep working copy status. First step is to convert into grayscale. And then to run canny edge detection. 
These are the pre-processing steps required before running OpenCV line detection function. Now we can run the line detection function, the first argument is the edges got from the codes above and then we use the four arguments received from view scalar bars to run this function. The lines are detected will be saved in a collection called lines. Next step is to draw these lines, we use a for statement to go through all the lines. First is to get coordination for start and end points. After that we use cv2line function to draw them on image, which is the first argument. Second and third argument defines the start and end points. The fourth argument defines the color. The fifth argument defines the thickness. Now we set image as current image. At the end we can send message to controller to display this in user interface. If we test run it now. We can see some error messages. What it tells us is the original image does not exist when we first open run the software. To fix this problem we can create a flag to verify as an image has been loaded into model. First is to define it in an initialization section of the class as false. Then we change to true after loading the image. By then we can use this when doing line detection, if it is true, we can run the function. If not then no action at all. It's time for final test run. Click run from controller file. We can now load image. Apply line detection. And change four parameters to see their effects to open CV line detection function. So what we have learned from these tutorials are. Separate model view controller, so codes are easy to understand and manage. How to use PyPub sub for view and model to communicate to controller. Controller manages workflow and data flow, but does not do any ground works. How to display OpenCV image in TK inter. How to apply line detection using OpenCV. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more interesting videos.